Hey guys, welcome back to another week. Hope you guys are doing well. And today I wanted to share with you my ink swatch. As you can see, this is the plotter and this is in the Bible size. I forgot the name of the leather, but um, it is just the gray one. And uh, I'm enjoying using this as an ink swatch because I am definitely not a ring person. And uh, I tried to be, but unfortunately I just couldn't get used to the rings. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, planner. Uh, I love the details of the gold hardware. Um, but as for planning and journaling, I cannot use this. So I'm going to let you guys um, get a walkthrough of how I'm using this as an ink swatch binder or ink collection, that sort of thing. Um, and in, I just wanted to share th these um, new stickers that are in my Etsy shop. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do some New Year's um, nib stickers. And along with the ink, um, this has been in the shop, um, I think, a while ago. But um, these ones are new. So if you want to check it out, the link is below. Um, and I thought it's just really cute to have it there because <laughs> I'm going to be talking about my inks. So here I have my J. Urban uh, Tier de Fou ink. Sorry for the French mispronunciation. Um, but this is one of my favorite brown inks. But I will go through that here uh, now with you. So if you're interested, please, please stay tuned. So um, first I just have these really cheap Daiso tabs. And I used my label printer and I just like labeled the colors. And this is how I divided them into. Got some pinks. Then I have violet. Then I got the greens on this side. And then I got the blues. Got my reds. And then my yellows. Um, and then I got my browns, which I love. And then I got my grays and I definitely want to experiment with more blacks because I'm really enjoying it um, right now for planning and journaling so I don't know maybe I'm going back to black I don't know um, I just have some extra plotter paper at the back and then just have this like dashboard divider um, and then I just keep um, this like glass nib here for my swatches and yeah, I've shown this like many times in my other videos. And then at the back, I just cur keep my currently inked. So I, I think it's good to just date them. So I know when to clean my pens and stuff. But um, I did a currently inked video last week. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down in the corner or up in the corner. Um, so yeah, so the paper, I, I definitely love the plotter paper. I, um, it's really, really similar to Tomo River paper. It's like crinkly and it has like a light yellow sheen to it. Barely noticeable. It's like a, I don't know, is it cream? It's not cream, it's very light cream paper. Um, but it's very crinkly and the properties are very similar to Tomo River paper. So I don't know if this is Tomo River paper, but if you ask me, I would say it's Tomo River paper. <laughs> but um, don't quote me on that. But um, <clears throat> the reason why I love doing my swatches on here, it's because I used to do them on this, but it's just the coloring. And the color is a little off on this. It really dulls your ink. So um, I don't know if I'll continue to be using this. But for example, this is Moss Park, Ferris Wheel Park. And then here it is on the plotter. And this one seems like it's a warm tone. This one is cool toned. Like, I don't know if that's because the paper is a little warmer, which doesn't really make sense to me, but um this really this paper really shows me like this full spectrum of the ink like for example like this also this is a sailor studio 280 and then 
the 280 here is like that. So it's barely noticeable. Like you can't really see the other, the second color of the ink. But here, it was really easy to just like swatch that. Uh, and I did it the same method. So you can see, can't really see it on this one. Uh, so I really enjoy swatching these inks on this um, plotter paper and that's why I decided this would be perfect because if I have more green inks like two more pages I can just open up like the rings and then just insert insert it where it needs to be and I can compare all my green inks together at the same time so yeah so it's pretty simple setup guys it's nothing 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 fancy and this is just i guess an update on my plotter and how i am using it um so yeah if anything changes then i would let you guys know but so far that's how i'm using it uh the leather i do wish that i got the camel one the other type of leather um, because this one is not really soft to me um, compared to like the superior labor it's completely different like this is like soft and delicious and this one is kind of dry and high quality as well but it's it's like definitely not the same type of leather um, and I do still see a little bit of that pink gum that got stuck when I unboxed it like if you haven't seen my unboxing I'll link it um, in a corner or down below but yeah I mean when I unboxed this I was really excited but it did put a damper on things when it came with like these pink marks at the back so um, I got most of it off so I didn't bother like reaching out or trying to get a replacement because Honestly, it doesn't affect the function of the product and it's barely noticeable now. So, but anyways, that is my plotter and that's how I'm using it currently. And um, are you like a ring planner? If you're a ring planner, this might be the best system uh, for you because they have so many uh, weekly scheduling inserts and stuff that I didn't tr get to try out. Uh, because I just wanted to try the plain one it, it, just to see if I could get used to the rings um, but I didn't so I never purchased it um, but this is how I'm using my plotter right now thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be back with another video next week and it will probably be my birthday pen unboxing so I'm very excited to do that and very excited to finally unbox um, my birthday pen. So I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye.